Your task this week was to identify and find America's most beautiful and fun resort. Little Richard, you're fired. And now after that huge election win, John DeMonico is billed as the number one Donald Trump impersonator. President-elect Donald Trump joins us now, fresh off his working Thanksgiving floor <laughs> wow. this morning. Uh, nice to see you this morning, Mr. President. Good morning, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. I just landed, just got back from Mar a Lago. It was tremendous. We had an amazing Thanksgiving. Yeah, the menu no. looked incredible. Well, I, didn't, I didn't eat any of that stuff. I went to McDonald's. I love McDonald's <laughs> tremendous. The burgers are great, consistently fantastic. I have to tell you. What about Mitt Romney in the Cabinet. Well, I, you know what? I, I've been watching you guys. I just want to get to this, all right? There's a little confusion about, around Mitt. Mm -hmm. He's not going up for Secretary of State. He's going up for my secretary, okay? He types Ooh. 120 <laughs> words a minute, Ooh. all right? He can get my coffee, <laughs> all right? So, you know, don't worry about it. Oh, you, I, you clear yeah. up that confusion for us. Yes, yeah. and he is going to go on an apology tour. It's going to be oh. 12 cities, and he has to, every day, he's going to apologize for one year, and then I'll let him have a job. Maybe if he's nice. Yeah. He has to be nice to me, I have to tell you. And we probably should say, John, Obviously, that you. Uh, this has been a whirlwind for you right now. Um, any big calls? Have, has Donald called you right now to he say? He calls that? me every single day and says, "Thank you." No. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I was here, Kellyanne was here, and I walked up behind her. She was getting coffee, and I said, "Kellyanne, you did a fantastic job. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> tremendous." And Kellyanne turned around and she was like, "I know who you are." She goes, "Can, well, can I get a selfie to show Mr. Trump?" Yeah, that's so it was, yeah, John, it was really, how did this good. all start, though? I mean, you've been doing impersonations for Mr. Trump for years. Uh, for 12 years. And what happened was it was originally started as a voiceover back in 2004. I got a call and I used to work here in the New York market and people, I used to kind of do like tough voices and somebody called up and said, hey, are you doing Trump yet? And I said, no, not yet. We have an audition on Monday. This was mm. a Friday. And they said, do you want to go in? I said, I ran out and bought the first season of The Apprentice. It had literally just come out. Wow. I locked myself in my house. I kind of broke his voice down by elements because I had was in such a more, more scientific approach. So I had to, you know, figure out where his throat placement was, his nasal placement, that very yeah. unusual <laughs> way of and the his hair. vocal production. So the hair, you know, remember two years ago, Donald mm. Trump said if he won the presidency, he would change his hairstyle. Mm. Remember that? Mm. I'm dreading that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. What would that look like? These are not, these are not inexpensive wigs. These are four thousand dollar wigs. Well, everyone's oh, always oh. wondered what he has on his head. What is it? <laughs> on his head? Is that real it's hair? This. All right. Walk it's us, human hair. Walk us through election night because all the pundits are saying, and it had to be wilder for Donald Trump right. himself, oh, obviously yeah. the president elect. But for you, you're thinking, okay, this has been a good gig, but now Hillary Clinton's going to win, according to everybody, all the pundits, and I might get a gig here and there right. for someone saying, remember Donald Trump ran. Yeah. Now, your phone must be ringing off the... What happened at 4 a.m. election night the next morning? What I, was going through your mind? I woke up. There were... My Facebook page had just hundreds and hundreds of, like, dude, you're sad. It's going to be incredible. And just texts and emails and everything else. But, you know, the thing was, I knew he was going to win because back in August, I had said on, the, on uh, Channel 4 in England, they were interviewing me, I had been on the road for a year nonstop, and I could feel the enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. And I was doing events of anywhere from, you know, 500 people to 5,000 people, and overwhelmingly, it was always for Trump. Mm -hmm. And people would whisper in my ear, and we'd do a photo op, and they'd, they'd lean in and go, by the way, I'm voting for you. So, real quick, <laughs> what, uh, uh, there's Mr. 20 Mr. birds. Mr. How do people find you? Uh, JohnnyD.net. Okay, but Mr. Yeah. Trump, back in yes, character. Yes, back in character. All right, I so love this. The Tremendous. media thinks they know what mm. the first issue you're going to focus on, your 100 days, your first 100 mm. days in office. What is that issue going to be? It's going to be the wall. It's going to be a tremendous wall. It's going to be a fantastic wall. But a lot of people don't know this. We're going to be putting a Trump hotel on top of the wall. <laughs> on top of the wall. It's going to be a tremendous, luxurious Trump is... hotel. And all the windows are going to face the American side. Yeah. yeah. Is gonna it going to be, be a big league? league or... Big league. It's going to be bigger. absolutely the most incredible Trump hotel you've ever seen. You're going to love it. You're What's the lip thing it. you got going? Like when we're asking you a question, mm -hmm. you get the lip as sort of like your mechanism to get it right. going. Right. Well, because he does this thing where his, his vocal production is right there in, in front, so you have to do that to get the sound exactly right. <laughs> and it's very, very unusual, Katie. You know, you're That's the important. best impersonator I've seen, because there have been Thank a you. bunch of them over Has the Alex past Has Alex Baldwin year. called you? Uh, he, he calls me every week. He says, John, what am I doing wrong? And I tell him. I try to help him out. I like Alex. I love very it. Very young man. I love it. Well, you're, you're going to be a busy man for the next I'm four hoping. years. I'm <laughs> You are Busier than the president elect for the next four oh, years. I don't know. He's going to be very busy. A lot of gigs. Yeah. Good to see John, you. John Domenico, we appreciate thanks, it. Thanks for having me on.